as the octopus species, now a flourishing Type I civilization, gazed upon the cosmos. They embarked on a journey of exploration and discovery that would elevate them to a Type II civilization. Their story is one of ingenuity, reverence for the past, and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The Starwood Path With Earth transformed into a harmonious utopia, the octopuses turned their many eyes to the stars. They developed spacecraft that could traverse the vast distances of space, powered by the energy of the sun and the stars. These vessels were not just machines, but extensions of the neural network, allowing each explorer to remain connected to the collective consciousness. Echoes of Humanity As they journeyed through the solar system, the octopuses discovered relics of humanity's space age. Abandoned outposts on the Moon and Mars, ancient satellites orbiting distant planets, each a silent testament to human ambition. From these remnants, the octopuses learned about human advancements and their eventual transcendence, drawing inspiration and cautionary tales from these echoes of the past. The Golden Message the most profound discovery came in the form of a small, gold-plated disc, adrift in the void, the Voyager Golden Record, sent into space by humans countless eons ago. This disc, carrying sounds and images of Earth's life and culture, was a message to the cosmos, a time capsule of humanity's existence. The octopuses, moved by this gesture, decided to bring the Golden Record back to Earth to honor the legacy of the planet's former stewards. The Museum of Humanity On Earth, the Golden Record was placed in a specially constructed museum, a sanctuary dedicated to human history and achievements. This museum, located in the ruins of an ancient human city, became a place of pilgrimage for octopuses a symbol of their respect for the species that had once called Earth home. Mastery of Energy Progressing towards becoming a Type II civilization, the octopuses learned to harness the energy of their star, the Sun. They constructed a colossal structure, a Dyson Swarm, composed of millions of solar collectors, capturing and transmitting energy back to Earth. This technological marvel marked a new era of energy abundance, allowing them to power their expanding civilization and fuel their interstellar endeavors. Interstellar Ambassadors With the energy of a star at their disposal, the octopuses began to explore beyond their solar system. They encountered other forms of life, some primitive, others advanced, and became ambassadors of Earth, sharing knowledge and learning from the diverse inhabitants of the galaxy. The Great Archive Recognizing the importance of knowledge, the octopuses created the Great Archive, a vast repository of information from all corners of the galaxy. This archive, accessible through the neural network, became a testament to their pursuit of wisdom and a beacon for other civilizations seeking enlightenment. The Galactic Community As they ventured further into the cosmos, the octopuses found traces of the transcended humans, now part of a Type IV civilization. These encounters were brief, ethereal, but filled with mutual respect and understanding. The octopuses realized that they were part of a larger community of beings, each playing a role in the tapestry of cosmic existence. On the brink of transcendence. Now standing at the threshold of becoming more than a Type II civilization, the octopuses reflected on their journey. From the depths of Earth's oceans to the far reaches of the galaxy, they had grown, learned, and evolved. 
They looked forward to the future, to the possibilities that lay in the stars, ready to embrace their destiny as stewards of the cosmos. This chapter of their story closes with the octopuses as a beacon of intelligence and empathy in the galaxy, a civilization that had risen from the seas of a blue planet to reach for the stars, always remembering the legacy of those who came before them and always looking forward to the endless possibilities that await. Did you know? The subscribe button is like the library's version of a chocolate chip cookie. Every time you hit it, a book on a library shelf gets an extra sprinkle of fairy dust. So, if you enjoyed this video and want to sprinkle some magic, don't forget to like and subscribe to our library channel.